Hello, I'm Amy Johnson, and this is The Rundown. One woman killed in a hit-and-run crash in Whittier. Officers say the woman and her son were crossing the street when they were struck by the car with no headlights on. Sadly, the woman died at the scene, and the man was rushed to the hospital. The driver took off and still hasn't been found. Two suspects will be arraigned today for their role in a series of 7-Eleven robberies that left two people dead. 20-year-old Malik Pat faces three felony counts of special circumstance murder, and his neighbor and alleged accomplice, Jason Payne, faces a list of robbery charges. Well, in just a few hours, there will be an emergency L.A. City Council meeting to talk about disturbing conditions at local animal shelters. The L.A. Times was first to report that some shelter dogs are not walked for weeks or even months at a time. We'll have an update on the meeting and the overcrowding issue later today. Now, here's meteorologist Amber Lee with a check of your forecast. All right, Amy, so we're looking at another hot one here in Southern California. Temperatures will be well above average again, thanks to a strong high pressure system still sitting over the Four Corners region. So if you plan on washing your car, you can do it because we're only looking at isolated afternoon showers over the mountains and deserts this uh, today. And then we're looking at more of that dry air sneaking in. So that means that it's finally going to feel a little bit back to normal once we head toward the end of the week into this upcoming weekend as temperatures drop. And remember, we're always streaming on CBS News Los Angeles, and you can watch anytime on our free CBS News app and Pluto TV. I'm Amy Johnson.